Let's talk about some ways to look at before and after images in Lightroom Classic. So the first one is you've got your image pulled up and it's already edited. You want to see the before. You can just press the backward slash key and it shows you the before and you can go back and forth and see your before image, your edited image. All right, let's talk about the Y button in Lightroom Classic where you're able to view these before and after images directly side by side. I love this perspective in Lightroom. So if you go to the bottom left hand corner, you'll see two Y's beside each other. If you press the down arrow, it's gonna show you the different viewpoints of looking at before and after images. So if you go to the Y icon or the Y button, if you press it or use the keyboard shortcut, you will see these images side by side. One is unedited, the other is edited. If you click it again or use a shortcut, it's gonna show you that one image split in half. If you press it again, use a shortcut, you'll see the top bottom view. And if you press it again, it'll show you that one image split in half, but from a top and bottom viewpoint. To get out of that image, just go to a loop view or press the D key for the shortcut, and it takes you right back to your edited image. Another way to look at before and after images in Lightroom is by creating snapshots. So if you go to your left hand side panel, you will see one of the options there is labeled snapshots. Um, I had an image that was unedited, had no snapshots there. And then I, as I was editing, I created a snapshot. So how do you do that? You press the plus sign and it's gonna give you the option to create a new snapshot. You rename it to whatever you wanna name it. I always number mine to keep track of the order. Otherwise it will alphabetize them. Um, and as you can see, I already did these as I was editing. So it shows you those snapshots that I created. When you click on it, it shows you what the editing stage was at when you created that snapshot. So it's a great way to look at it. Once you click on it though, you, you might get lost on, okay, how do I know that I'm editing the most current stage of my photo or my image? Um, go to the last step before you started looking at the snapshots in your history panel and clear that history above that step and it will take everything out and it'll take you to your most uh, current image. Now let's look at creating snapshots after you have edited an image. Um, so say you didn't create snapshots while you were editing and you wanna go back and do that. You absolutely can do that. Um, what you'll need to do is you'll open up your history panel. So on your left-hand side, you'll see all those panels listed there, preset snapshots, history. Pull up the history and go to one of those stages that you were editing at and you're going to um, right click so you'll right click the stage that you want to create a snapshot and it'll give you the option to create a snapshot. You click on that, you'll be able to rename it to whatever you want to name it to so that you know um, what stage of the process that you're trying to capture in this snapshot. You press okay, it creates the snapshot. When you go back to your snapshots list, it will pull up that snapshot that you created. So you'll have that as an option to look at. Let me go ahead and undo that because I already have snapshots there. Okay, so here's a great way to look at before and after images by using the Y icon or Y button view. Um, you can actually change your before image to a different editing settings um, than the raw. So if you pull up your Y icon view to the view that you want, go to your history, drag and drop whatever stage of your editing process that you want into your before image. Um, you can do the drag and drop method or you can right click and press the copy those history settings um, to that before image and it will um, place those settings in there and you can directly compare your before and after in a different process of your editing stage. Now let's look at creating virtual copies, which is great um, because you can create a virtual copy, reset it to the original setting. So right click an image and press on create virtual copy. It makes a duplicate and you can see that, um, you can see what number copy it is by going to that bottom left hand corner. Um, and on that image that you created, that virtual copy, reset it at the bottom by going to the right hand corner um, of the bottom of the screen. And then you can toggle back and forth with your arrow keys and look at that image um, side by side or immediately after each other. The other way to look at it is just to press the F key on your uh, keyboard and you can toggle back and forth with your arrows looking at before, after. 
with everything else blacked out. So these are some great ways to use virtual copies to look at before and after images. Another great way to look at before and after images is to press the L key um, while you're in the Y icon or the Y button viewpoint. So if you go to your image and you go to the Y icon, you press it to pull up your desired viewpoint that you wanna look at. Press the L key once. It's going to gray out all of the rest of the software. Press it twice and it blacks everything out and you can see it directly side by side.